And news from across the nation, Oklahoma schools are now required to incorporate the Bible into their classrooms and curriculum. The announcement sparking backlash across the state. Dylan Brown tells us more. Every school district will adhere to, which is that every teacher, every classroom in the state will have a Bible in the classroom and will be teaching from the Bible. State School Superintendent Ryan Walter saying effective immediately all Oklahoma schools are required to incorporate the Bible as instructional support for curriculum in grades 5 through 12 with immediate and strict compliance expected. The Bible is a necessary historical document. That echoes Louisiana's recent move requiring the Ten Commandments be hung up in classrooms. That state now faces several lawsuits. Oklahoma Attorney General issuing a statement suggesting Walters isn't breaking new ground, saying Oklahoma law already explicitly allows Bibles in the classroom and enables teachers to use them in instruction. Rather than simply a resource for teachers, Walters' memo suggests it will be a requirement, and the State Department may supply teaching materials for the Bible. We asked A.G. Drummond if the Koran could also be used as a tool for teachers. He says yes, as a historical resource. Thursday's meeting, several spoke out. How many commandments are there actually? 613. Are you doing all of them? Or are you just doing your chosen 10? I wanted to be able to come here and thank Superintendent Walters. Religious teachings like these don't belong here, you guys. They belong in churches. They belong in houses. Americans United for Separation of Church and State calls Walters' mandate textbook Christian nationalism and promises to step in to protect Oklahoma families from constitutional violations. Walters' memo comes just weeks after the state Supreme Court confirmed local school boards have the final say to determine which books and instructional materials may be deemed appropriate in Oklahoma classrooms. That legal battle costs taxpayers and more can be expected as Oklahoma's superintendent doubles down on religion in the classroom. It is essential.